ship? The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Wow, well, sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, they're obviously just looking the other way. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. So... is... Udina, he's an ambassador. Now, is he just kind of the go-between between humans and the council? And does he represent all the humans? I'm not exactly sure. But we'll hopefully find out. He's kind of a dick. Let's see if we can hack into this computer and find out what would be going on around here. Oh, Jesus. Insufficient Omnigel. Oh, do I need Omnigel to hack? That would be good to know. I can convert stuff. That gives me 21. Is that Omnigel? Or because I failed it, I actually need to use Omnigel to get into it. Maybe that's what's going on. Let's see how much I might need. I have extras of a bunch of stuff, and I could probably sell these, but I need to know how this works also. 25 Omnigel. All right. Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Okay. Sure is peaceful here. Now, let's uh let's take some time to do a bit of training while there's some while there is some downtime. I really need to focus on pistols for me. Um Throw would be good as well. 
I really need a way to get them out of behind barriers if that's possible. Let's focus on maybe some of our conversation skills. They seem to be a bit rough right now. Uh, Kaiden. I like having the extra defense. Increases the tech mine explosion damage done by sabotage, damping, and EMP. First aid. I like giving you just an overall improvement. And then Ashley, really focus on these assault rifles, maybe a bit of armor. Let's take one out. Can I do that? There we go. And give you shield boost. There we go. And let's just check a couple of things that we've been learning about here. Specifically... Let's see. Humanity's first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered. A practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. Well, okay, that's actually good to know. So... First contact with any alien race was in 2157, and it was Turians. Um, and now we did learn that Saren hates humans, perhaps related back to this scenario. And... Okay, so this is obviously some ill blood between us and the Turians. But it sounds like if the Council wouldn't have stepped in, we probably would have been toast. Let's see... I'm trying to find out if there's any information on the people that we've met so far. It's not aliens, but... Okay, well, we'll come back to this. Let's check the journal. Go to the Hydra system in the Argos Roll Cluster to investigate. Oh, so we can actually follow up on what we learned then. Oh, that's cool. So we have missions and assignments. All right, and what do we have to do? We just have to go to the tower. All right, cool. Let's, uh, before we go and check that out, let's get a lay of the land here and see what's going on. Let's talk to the receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Tell me about this place. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Uh, okay. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. 
The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Yeah, I should I be can going imagine. Now. Have a pleasant day. Okay, this must be the Yeah, okay. Allow me to be your guide. That's kind of cool. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. This is like, this is bizarre. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Yeah, okay, you're dropping a lot of things on me here. I'm gonna need you to slow it down. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC. Yeah, another Turian. But individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some hmm. rather vocal opposition. All right. Um... Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Does she have opinions as well, or is Do it... Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed yeah. to make that kind of qualified <laughs> okay. judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why aren't, okay, so we saw the council and I'm a little bit confused as to if it's just those three um, species or like specific people or whatever you want to call them uh, running the whole citadel or running the whole council. And if that's the case and the Volus were like the first to have an embassy, why aren't they even, why aren't they in the Council. Why weren't they made a council yeah. race? <laughs> the council races exactly. have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser species. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all <laughs> formal complaints in writing to the Citadel uh, Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. 
In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. They almost seem like they would be similar to the CIA back on Earth. Uh, or some type of undercover government agency. Like, people know who they are, but they live above the law, essentially. And it's interesting what she said about how the Volus couldn't really... Um, add anything to the council like in terms of uh being called on for war and things like that so maybe they're like a weaker species like weaker in the sense that obviously they're not well maybe not obviously but they're probably not warriors and it seems like the council only wants people that are really going to contribute and help uh when they need it and in the way that they want so that being said if they're thinking about having me join as a human it's probably safe to say that humans have advanced enough to the point where they think we're going to add value, which is interesting, but at the same time, kind of, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it seems very restricted. I don't know who's making the ultimate decisions. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Okay. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. So Turians joined last. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Yeah, but is it still just the three, or are they just... They're, they must be just... I don't know. They must be kind of like presidents of their races or representatives or something. It can't be as simple as that. There must be a problem somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, and well, thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. You were actually pretty helpful. But she mentioned that there were embassies on either side here. I'm assuming we just came from the human embassy. So... If we go this way... What will we find? Maybe the map will actually tell us. Yep. Okay. So here's us. Uh, we were just in Udina's area. Oh, we have Volus and Elcor offices here. Embassy Lounge. CSEC headquarters. Okay, let's check these out. And then we're going to check out Volus and Elcor's. What the hell is this thing? This is an elk court. Right, okay, cool. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> you are awesome. Okay, we just got a codex entry for something. Treaty of Phyrixen? Due to the destructive potential of dreadnoughts, the council races agreed at the... Ferrixen Naval Conference to fix the ratio of dreadnought construction between themselves. At the top of the pyramid is the peacekeeping Turian fleet. Below the Turians are the other council races, currently the Asari and Salarians. Council associate races are at the bottom. The Human Systems Alliance is part of the last group. The ratio of Turian to council to associate dreadnoughts is 5 to 3 to 1. For every dreadnought humans are permitted to build, the Asari have 3, the Turians 5. What? What are dreadnoughts exactly? Are these like ships or something? Ratio Turian to council to associate dreadnoughts. Interesting. At the top of the pyramid, yeah, okay. Is the peacekeeping Turian fleet. But they're pretty destructive, so that's interesting. That, uh,. Let's see if the diplomat will tell us anything. I can't believe I landed nope. a job here. This place is fantastic. That's great. So C-Sec should be in here then. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. 
Did Ambassador Udina send you? <laughs> Probably best not to piss this guy off, but let's find out who he is. Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Well, I do have a few questions. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. You don't sound very enthused about that. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. <laughs> but I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No, we are not. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Oh, you don't like anybody. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Yeah. This guy's in a position of power too with CSEC. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. I wonder if he knows who Saren is. We do our Saren's. best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Yeah, if the job gets done, absolutely. Absolutely. The only <laughs> thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. Well, that's good for you for now, but maybe you're not the person that people need to be going to in times of crisis. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay, so they do know who Saren I'll is. I'll be going now. Goodbye, I don't know if, if that's who he was referencing, like, specifically. I would really love to find some time to just go through uh, this codex in detail, and then whenever I can get a new entry, then I'll be able to find it easier, because this thing's getting jam-packed. Uh, let's do a quick browse on CSEC here. There's 200,000 CSEC officers provide pirate suppression customs enforcement. So they're basically like a uh, glorified police force. Uh, six divisions. So enforcement, uniformed officers who patrol the Citadel. Uh, detectives who puzzle out the truth behind crimes and bring perpetrators to justice. Customs, screening the thousands of passengers and cargo containers that pass through the Citadel's ports every day. Ports every day. Network, deal with cyber crimes like identity and copyright theft, hacking and viral attacks. This is very much like police um, on Earth. Special response, like a SWAT team, I guess. Deals with hostage situations, bombs, heavily armed criminals. This unlikely event. In the unlikely event, the attackers board the Citadel. They are also a front line of defense. And then a patrol, naval arm, with ships stationed throughout the Citadel cluster. Unlike the other divisions, they are rarely seen at the Citadel, nor do they stay in one place for long. Joining CSEC is prestigious. Applications must be sponsored by a Citadel counselor. That's good to know. Or the ambassador of an associate council race. Generally, applicants have many years of distinguished service in the military or police forces of their nation, but an inexperienced applicant with demonstrable talent will be fairly considered. 
CSEC and the Spectres are often at odds. Many CSEC members, notably current executor Veneri Palin, believing, believe that allowing Spectres to be above the law is a dangerous practice. The actions of Saren are tyrious lend credence to this position. The Spectres, in turn, are aggravated when CSEC's dedication to procedure and due process hamper their investigations. So that's actually kind of funny. Uh, and that kind of further reinforces my thoughts of kind of comparing them to uh, a CIA type group. Or maybe FBI would be a better comparison. Okay, I'm really going to try to like make this happen here. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few will tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Biotics uniting in the Hawking Eta cluster. Interesting. Okay, CSEC offices probably never going to come back here because I don't really feel like I'm wanted. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can <laughs> talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. The consort? What do you want? Oh, Commander. Yeah, get your shit Is together. Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. What is she... Is she like a... Prostitute? <laughs> Maybe I'm jumping a few ledges here, but... Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> 